Hey guys, so today I'm going to be introducing you to Signal Private Messenger. This is a mobile app available for Android and iOS, and it focuses heavily on security and privacy. It's fully open source, both the front end and the back end, and has been endorsed by Edward Snowden, so you know that it's got some kind of credibility to it. It's got about a million to five million users, according to the Google Play Store, and I don't know how many that extends when you include iOS as well. But it seems to be one of the more well-known private messaging services, um, and for good reason. It's very easy to set up. Um, it's easy so that you can actually just give someone a link or even just tell someone about it who isn't particularly tech savvy, install it, and, it, and the default settings and all of the settings that it really allows you to change keep your phone and keep your messages secure. In fact, um, Open Whisper Systems, who have, have, um, who have built this, uh, their sort of plan of defense, as it were, is just to keep as little information on on uh, each of their users as possible. So when they're subpoenaed to hand over information, they hand over it, all the information they've got, but because they keep so little information, the information they do hand over is useless. So that's pretty good. Everything's, of course, encrypted, providing that both parties are using Signal Private Messenger. But what I do quite like about this is that it sits as a replacement application for your current SMS messaging service. So what that means is um, you can use it to send SMS messages, text messages to uh, other people who don't have Signal. Now, obviously, that's not going to be encrypted. But if both of you use Signal Private Messenger, you've effectively got free text messages indefinitely. Uh, so for those of you that use pay-as-you-go mobile services, that's a, that's a pretty big uh, pretty big upswing. Uh, I myself, I'm on GifGaff, and a lot of my friends are, so every time you top up £10 or more, they give you three months of free text and calls to other GifGaff numbers anyway. But that aside, this is a pretty good app. Um, their website uh, talks a little bit more about it, um, but it pretty much covers just what I've, uh, what I've outlined here. Um, and it's, yeah, free, open source, and private. And that's really sort of uh, what you need out of it. It's something that I certainly recommend. It's nice and easy to set up. And uh, if you look at um, the blogs and even some of the things that Edward Snowden's been saying about it, it focuses not just on security and, and, and privacy, which, of course, are very, very important, but it also um, focuses on accessibility. The idea that um, any person, no matter how tech savvy they are, can just install this instant messaging service and go. It does assign your mobile number as your identifier, so that does mean that if you want to have a private discussion with someone else, it does mean handing over your uh, your your mobile phone number, which is something that some people might not necessarily like. And I've I've got to say I've never completely been a fan of services that do this, that rely on a, on a mobile phone number, uh, because it restricts it to mobile platforms only, more or less. Um, but that being said, it does take a you know it it does this instead of a sign-up process, which is, is you know, something that um, people that aren't particularly tech-savvy might be deterred by or put off by. Sometimes I don't like signing up for a service if I only know that I, I only intend to use it once. So, so there's that. Um, yeah, there's not really too much more to say about it. I'll put the links to the website and the blog. The blog's actually really quite useful as well. They talk a lot about the choices they make and why they make it. Um, as a side note, even though in theory you can deploy the back end of um, Signal Instant Messenger yourself. Uh, Open Whisper systems don't support it, so they're not going to be able to help you al along the way, which is something to bear in mind. It's open source really more for the purposes of security than it is for the purposes of um, community com community building. Uh, that being said, there are um, ways you can, can uh, contribute to the project, but I am not familiar how. There is a GitHub page... Um, available. So I believe that would be how you'd go about it. So that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Check out Signal Private Messenger. Tell your friends. Tell everyone. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice uh, replacement app basically for your messaging, your standard SMS Android messaging app. Um, but it's completely private. And also the technology that Signal Private Messenger does use uh, as a side note, uh, is actually also employed by the likes of Facebook and WhatsApp for their end-to-end -end encryption, which over the recent year or so has actually improved, believe it or not. Facebook have actually done something to improve privacy. Uh, they've obviously drastically reduced it in other ways, no doubt, but um, their messenger, I believe, but don't quote me on it, is end-to-end -end encrypted.
which is quite interesting. So, uh, and it uses the same open source technology. In fact, that's, an, again, yet another benefit of, the, of this uh, application being open source, of course, is that the, te te the technology um, that they've developed can then be used in other instant messaging platform. Um, and yes, I do believe WhatsApp as well also. It's WhatsApp. Owned? Yeah, I think WhatsApp's also owned by Facebook. It was a big buyout a couple of years ago. Uh, that also uses the end-to-end -end encryption that Signal Private Messenger uses. So thank you very much for watching. Um, and toodaloo.